Hey everyone, I need your attention for one minute. This is not one of those ads. This is something that has changed my entire life. If you've been listening to this podcast, you know that this is all about personal development as the foundation for everything good in your life. And this podcast is now sponsored by Growth Day, which is the world's first all-in-one personal development app. I mean, oh my gosh, can you imagine having everything all in one place that you need to create? create the life that you want, now you can. So if you've been struggling with your motivation, your mood, your productivity, or your purpose, you have to check this out. Growth Day helps you consciously change your life and achieve your potential. It has all the self-improvement tools, motivational classes, and life coaching all in one place. So many of us want to improve our lives, but the question is how? Where do we start? What do we use? How do you get unstuck? How do you make self-improvement stick? Well, research shows how. It's when you consistently journal, track your habits, set goals, learn from empowering mentors, and challenge yourself that you'll be happier, healthier, and more successful. But let me ask you something. Where do you actually do all of your personal development work? I have to tell you that over 300,000 people use Growth Day for a reason. It works. It's the world's number one software for self-improvement. Growth Day has an amazing mindset journal that I absolutely love, a habit tracker, and a goal-setting system. In fact, I bet if you went to my stories this week, you probably saw me using the journaling app and telling you to do it too, because it's the first time that journaling has ever actually stuck consistently in my life because of this app. And best of all, Growth Day has live inspirational classes every single week from the world's top motivational speakers and life coaches. These are people who have impacted my life in huge ways. These are mentors who I already knew and loved. In fact, this is something that's so huge for me, you guys. I personally teach a class in Growth Day every single month, and it is one of the most fun things that I get to do, and I'd love to see you there. These classes will truly shift your life. There's always something new that you will learn. So join me in 300,000 achievers growing our lives with actual real intention. Visit growthday.com slash Lori for a free trial. Yes, you can try this for free. So go to growthday.com slash Lori and go live your best life. You guys, that's growthday.com forward slash Lori. And I can't wait to see you there. How many times have we maybe burnt everything down or started over or added a new project or got rid of something that maybe it wasn't done yet or maybe we weren't sick of it or maybe our life didn't suck or maybe the area we were in doesn't suck. Maybe we just need fresh eyes and a new perspective because we need a vacation or a break. And we're back with another episode of He Said, She Said. And we are sitting on the Amalfi Coast, which is made up of so many different little areas. But the ones that we are in are Amalfi, Positano, Capri. And did we go anywhere else? So far, those are the three towns we've picked. Oh my gosh. It is more beautiful than any picture I have ever seen in my life. Mm -hmm. I didn't know something this beautiful was in existence. I truly did not. And I am so grateful that we committed and made the decision to come here because it has been on a bucket list forever. And I didn't actually know if we would make it here or not. Yeah, it's really interesting because... You and I have wanted to come to this area for a long time, right? We've had the Gray Mullen books and paintings. We've seen it on travel shows, but you actually don't understand what it's like to be somewhere like this until you physically can come and put yourself in the beauty. There's nothing else that can possibly describe or create imagery around what it's really like in, in real life. And you know, we've been having a lot of conversations like, God, why don't we do this more? God, what have we been waiting for? And that's a lifelong question. But it it kind of has boiled down to this for us. And this is what we wanted to talk about today. I think people confuse wanting to do something with deciding or committing to do something. So to clean that up, let's just say people 
confuse wanting to do something with deciding to do something. And wanting and deciding are two very different things. And if I had to use this vacation as a, as a metaphor, we've wanted to come here for a long time. We've never decided that we're going to make it a priority. This is the year. This is the way. This is the time, right? It's always just been, oh, we'll get there. Oh, that would be nice. Oh, one day I'm sure it'll happen. And I feel like that's a metaphor for everyone's business. I feel like that's a metaphor for everyone's life. I feel like it's a metaphor for everyone's fitness goals or everyone's relationships or whatever it is that, that's important to you that you want to have. How many things do you want to have, but you haven't decided to have? There's so many things that I look back on that I viewed as maybe an interruption or a challenging distraction or as great as this vacation sounded, it was like, well, should I take a vacation right now? Is that smart? You know, maybe when things slow down and things will never slow down unless you plan for them to slow down. And the vacation is the interrupt and the slowdown that is required for you to be able to run in business. And, you know, we got to listen to some incredible speakers and authors while we were here in Florence on this magical rooftop overlooking all of Florence and hearing church bells in the background and all of these incredible just sunsets and birds flying. It was, it was majestic. And, and one of the authors that we got to talk to was talking about how he was so burnt out and uninspired. And he thought that he needed to quit everything or reinvent himself or continue to do new things or write another book or do more businesses because he was feeling really uninspired and come to find out he was just burnt out and needed a break. Mm -hmm. And instead of quitting everything and reinventing himself, he, at the time in his life, was able to take three months where he just took time off. Well, he took a year sabbatical but then realized 90 days in, he's like, wait, I'm done. Like, oh, I'm refreshed. Right. Yes. I'm ready to go. It's like, I don't need a year. I just needed three months of not doing what I was doing. And he was completely refreshed, ready to go. Where how many times have we maybe burnt everything down mm -hmm. or started over or added a new project or got rid of something that maybe it wasn't done yet, or maybe we weren't sick of it, or maybe our life didn't suck, or maybe the area we were in doesn't suck. Maybe we just need fresh eyes and a new perspective because we need a vacation or a break. Mm -hmm. Well, it's interesting using this vacation as a metaphor for wanting something versus deciding to do something. It took a lot of layers to decide versus want. We wanted to come here, but the layers of decision took this. It took us choosing a date, which doesn't sound big, but when you feel busy, it feels irresponsible to be like, oh, I'm going to take this many days and, and you know go to the multi coast. So it takes deciding on a date. Mm -hmm. Then it takes a follow through action. And the follow through action is, in this case, buying the vacation. But for you, whatever you want to do, it might take setting a date and enrolling in the mentor, or it might take setting the date and signing up at the gym, or it might take, you know, setting the date and, you know, whatever your version of that follow through action is so that you have some skin in the game. But then it took more layers. Then it took Rob and Kim who curated this vacation. It took them reinforcing that we want to go from the several months ago that we paid for this vacation over the course of several months, sending us books on the Malfi Coast and hype and excitement. Because there were a couple of times where you and I were like, ah, I know we paid for it, but it doesn't feel right. Ah, we're too busy. Mm -hmm. Ah, we don't have time for that. Ah, we just moved to California. Ah, we have all these things, right? Mm -hmm. And the point is you need positive reinforcements to reinforce the decision that you made even when you have skin in the game, right? So it's not enough to set the date. It's not enough to have skin in the game. You also need positive reinforcements built in along the journey. And then you need a fourth thing. And the fourth thing is you need the integrity to show up and follow through with your decision, even after all of those things, helping you get to the finish line. Yeah. I think at the end of our lives, we really just want to have a meaningful life. And if you look at what you are doing in your everyday today, it's really like, are you creating those moments that mean something to you? Are you making memories? Are you making meaning? Are you creating the relationships that you want? And I'll tell you that life goes by really fast. 
And I think it's important to put markers in your year, to put vacations in your year, to put big experiences in your year, whatever that looks like. Even if you can't travel right now or you don't have the money to travel yet, there's so many things that you can do local to create memorable experiences for yourself, to create these mini moments that are outside of your normal realm to change your perception. Maybe it's a, oh my God, this is this is what I want to share. So Rob and Kim, while they're in living in Italy, every single Friday, they have a date where for three hours, they hire a tour guide, a tour guide to go around Italy and, and learn. learn. And I thought, we have so many opportunities like that, even in the places that we live, to hire someone who can come and teach us a language for an hour or two, to hire someone to teach us a music lesson, to hire someone to come and take us to our local museums, mm -hmm. to just go to the local museums or different things that our area has to offer. Go learn about classic cars, even if that's not your thing. The idea is to go and get outside of your element and make those things, see how they can apply to your life, even if you're not into them and mix up all of the energy because there's something about getting outside of your normal life that switches the way your brain is thinking, gives it a break, gets out of the anxiety, gets out of the stress and allows you to focus on something new. And we keep on choosing the same feeling. We keep choosing the same places. We keep choosing the same way of thinking, which is going to burn you out. We're not meant to be in the same thing over and over. When you hear Lori give those examples, it's natural to feel, of course, I want to do that. Of course, I would love the, the weekly dates. Of course, I'd love the learning. Of course, I'd love the experience. Of course, whatever your version of, of that is, that sounds appealing, right? But notice you want to do mm -hmm. those things. You haven't decided to do those things. And we keep getting great reminders because of the people that we hang out with of what it looks like to decide to do those things. And, and again, it, it took setting dates, then it took paying or having skin in the game, right? In Rob and Kim's case, they set the date. It's every Friday at the same time. They build their schedule around it. They pay the tour guide in advance to show up and do the three hours. But then it still takes the integrity of them showing up at mm -hmm. two o'clock on Friday for those three hours and not canceling it. And this is what it takes. This is the difference between wanting a good life and deciding mm -hmm. to have a good life. So when we go home, Today, we have a day we're going to go sit down by the water. Chris, we're going to decide what we want to do each week. I like it. Yeah. Putting you right on the spot. We are literally going to write down and decide one thing that we're going to do every single week that is different, that we've been wanting to do, that we've been talking about. So we'll share that. We'll turn it we'll into a decision. Podcast. Yeah. From a want to a decision, you guys. That's the key to life. All right. Thanks for listening. We're so grateful that you guys tune in every week to hear our random thoughts and lessons and, and just trying to take little bits and pieces out of our life and, and see where they apply into your life. That's kind of the joy of life. Eat the fruit and spit out the seeds. Until next time, we will see you next week. Hey all, I'm so excited to share with you, Earn Your Happy is now part of Growth Day Podcast Network. A bunch of us are coming together to bring more growth to the world and support shows and brands that we truly believe in. And one of my friends is also on the network and I'd love for you to go subscribe to his show. You guys, Trent Shelton has the most incredible podcast. It's called Straight Up with Trent Shelton. And it's going to remind you that you are built for this. I have heard Trent speak in person multiple times. I've listened to his podcast a ton. He's coming on the show and I literally cannot wait because this man just spits straight fire. It is like truth that goes to your core and makes you take action right away. If you want one of those podcasts that when you're just out on a walk, you can't help but want to start running and run through a wall in your life, this is the show to go listen to. So you guys make sure that you go subscribe to the show straight up with Trent Shelton. You're going to love it. Hey, thanks for listening to the podcast. And I want to make sure that you have my phone number and I'm not kidding. Did you know that I have a community text number? 
for real. My phone number is 310-496-8363. This goes directly to my phone. All you have to do is text the word daily to 310-496-8363. And I literally text you every single day, Monday through Friday. I actually just got done 30 seconds ago texting a bunch of people back. And I talk to you all of the time. You guys, people always ask me how I got my community text number and how it works. Well, all you have to do is you can just go to community.com and get your own. Community makes it easy to get a phone number that you can use to build your audience using text. People just text you at your number and they're added to your group. Then you can text them out audios, video links, anything you want. You guys, I text out happy birthday videos. I love to send podcast links, thoughts about life, book recommendations, uh, different events that I'm doing in the local area. Texting gets me out of the noise of social media and directly into your hand. And now you can start texting your people too. Just go to community.com to get your phone number. They give you a 10 digit real phone number, not those weird short codes that look like spam, but it's more than a phone number. Your new number comes with an inbox for SMS and texting. This means you can actually manage your text list from your computer and an app on your phone. You can schedule texts to send at certain times and to certain groups. You can even set up auto replies or let your assistant or customer service team answer your text messages via community's awesome dashboard. Just go to community.com and ask for a free demo. They'll show you how it works and get you your number. It's time to start texting your audience versus just posting on social media. Everyone uses community for that. So go check them out at community.com. I can tell you it's not just great for communicating with my audience, but Chris and I use community and our texts to also sell out our launches. I'm telling you, you get such an incredible response because you really are creating a true deep sense of community and it's so intimate. It's freaking amazing. Go check it out at community.com. Want to know a huge secret to my success? Okay, not only my success, but just about every single person that I have interviewed on this podcast who is successful has this in common. You guys, they love to journal. They capture their life lessons and what they're grateful for. But a lot of people don't keep this up consistently. And most people do know that the research shows that journaling deepens your gratitude and increases self-awareness. But did you also know that journaling decreases stress and helps you achieve your goals faster? In fact, journaling is a huge differentiator between average performers at work and high performing people. It leads to longer term clarity, confidence, and success. So why don't more people journal? Why didn't I journal consistently? Honestly, they don't like staring at a blank page. It's hard to carry a book around with you or a notepad, and they just don't even know what to write about, or they just forget. That's why I know that you're going to love Growth Day. It's the world's number one system for self-improvement, and it's like all-in-one personal development in an app. And it has an awesome digital journal, and people love it. Growth Day's digital journal has hundreds of research-backed writing prompts for self-reflection, positive mindset, confidence building, and success. I use them all the time, and it makes me think in ways that I typically don't, and it makes me ask myself better questions, which we all know gets better results in our life. It even has prompts that help you develop a daily, weekly, or monthly habit of reflecting on your life and identifying areas to grow. So it's a perfect time of year to start journaling, you guys. When you sign up at Growth Day, you also get systems for habit tracking, goal setting, and scoring and improving every area of your life. Best of all, I get to teach there too, you guys. I'm so excited. I hope that I get to see you. I teach live in Growth Day every single month with a new topic just for you. So join me there. Start your free trial at growthdate.com slash Lori.